Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, sat in the conservatory in uh, a rather inclement weather. Uh, we had a bit of sunshine yesterday, but that, I think it was only a rumour. Uh, what it does mean though, with uh, nice light mornings and light evenings, is that we've got plenty more time to work on our Triumph Stags, so it all ain't too bad. Um, good stuff. So this week's just a quick update midweek on progress with uh, our Stags, and uh, Harry's been working hard on the brake calipers, for the Triumph Stag. The uh, calipers were actually seized mostly. So just wanted to walk you through what we've done and show you how Harry's actually rebuilt uh, some of our existing calipers to uh, go back on the car, hopefully this weekend, when the weather is a bit better, fingers crossed. Uh, let's have a look and see what he's been up to. So here is the uh, work in progress. As you can see, Harry's removed the calipers from the front wheel hub. The discs themselves aren't too bad actually, they're looking a bit rusty currently, it's only because they haven't been braked for a few days. It's amazing how quickly they rust in fact isn't it? But uh, anyway he's taken the caliper off and that's now indoors and we're working on that to uh, fettle it and fine tune it with new seals, pistons and brake pads. And before we go into the uh, kitchen which is a lot warmer than the garage I'll just show you some of the evidence of what's been pulled out of the old calipers these were the spring clips holding the um, uh, the pads on they've been sprung off and there were some split pins involved as well which uh, have obviously been released we've got new ones for the uh, brake calipers obviously it's a kit that we've had um, this was one of the old hydraulic hoses that came off the caliper and um, historically we had a problem with UNY you may remember way back two years ago something like that um, these can be notoriously difficult to get out of the caliper. Clearly it's good to have a better more qu better quality um, and newer um, brake fluid pipe. I think this one probably would be all right but um, just in terms of how it looks is going to be important so we've got some new ones for that. And um, these are some of the seals that have come out of the uh, caliper recesses themselves and the original piston, uh, one of them, uh, that was in the caliper. And you can see here just how corroded and rusty they are um, and uh, this was what was making them stiff. This one in particular was a, a little tricky to get out to say the least and you can see evidence here of Harry and my uh, efforts at the weekend uh, because the piston actually went right into the caliper such that there was nothing proud to grab hold of except TAA had the idea to use a um, pair of mole grips badly and uh, we've obviously trashed this one without damaging the outside grip hold of it and then twist it backwards and forwards and eventually the thing came out but it was absolutely <coughs> jammed solid and no wonder um, the brakes didn't work that effect effectively or efficiently with pistons stuck in like that so uh, clearly that's not a good thing so good to re-service the whole thing and rebuild it and uh, that's what we've done. Okay, so here's Harry himself. He's um, looking at rebuilding these ear brake calipers off the stag. <coughs> here's one he um, finished earlier, which I think some of you may have seen a photograph of. That's uh, done. Looking nice and clean. If I just come round over his shoulder. So um, what he's done is he's split the caliper into two. Here's one half of it, and um, here's the other half just here. And what we're doing is putting in some New seals, seals, new pistons, new pistons, new nipples. That's what she said. <laughs> Good schoolboy humour, isn't it? Yeah. So this is how you rebuild a caliper. So those there are the pistons themselves. Nice and fresh. Ready to go in. Just talk us through what you've done there, then, Harry, so far. So inner seals in on the inside here. So how do you do that? A little bit of... Um, a little bit of brake fluid, is a bit of lube, and yeah. eventually just, you just push it in, it's nice and simple. So there's a slot actually in there. If we can have a look at the other one there, maybe, you can just see that. That there's one's already in as well. Halfway down, okay, yeah. So that one's in. Line. Yeah, so it's the other half, yeah. So that's both in. And now you've got your outer seal, and your dust sort of cap that sits on the top. Yeah. And this one normally, I just use that blit, blit of wood, and yeah. we'll just Tap it in, just to so it all press goes it firm and make evenly, sure it's nice and square. So you don't want to bend the lip up or push it down. Again, have you done a little bit of um, lubrication? Yeah, there's a little bit on there, but not as much oh, on this. Okay. Just to seat it nicely. So that's so is that. A technical term. Block of wood. And um, 
gentle persuasion. Just a little push. And do it in. Take his gloves off because they're horrible. Okay. Tell your mother that we're using the kitchen table. She's away, she'll never know. Right. She will, because you'll see this film. <laughs> that one there done. <laughs> okay, so that one's one done well. now, so we're going to do the same for the other one. Again, just got the... And this came in a big kit, didn't it? We had a kit in the garage from uh, a while back when we had UNY 49M brakes. We ended up swapping over the calipers in the end and buying new ones. Um, but we just thought we'd try with this one to refurbish and actually it's not been too bad. It's cost a couple of nights graft getting the calipers off. They were completely seized. We reckon there was only one brake caliper, uh, one brake pad actually working and that was worn down to the rivets pretty much. Although <coughs> the, uh, the disc is okay luckily we just caught it in time. So um, again Harry just putting that in on the top. You've also got, um, there's a an o-ring here too which um, is put in just because that then will be the seal between the two halves when it's clamped together. But we can do, they're a bit <laughs> if you put them in the freezer for 10 minutes. Yeah, all right, okay, top tip, we'll have a short break and come back, but uh, put them in the freezer to freeze them, reduce the size such that it will fit into the uh, caliper body itself and you can see here he's cleaned all around here so it's all nice and clean. So we're back to you in a minute when the uh, metal has shrunk and therefore it will fit in the hole a lot easier than it would do otherwise without it. Right. In the meantime, we'll put the jacket in. Okay, so this has just returned from the freezer. And hopefully it will slot in a bit more easily than it did before because it shrunk to fit the hole. There you go. In. There we are. Top work. Nice and flush and square. Right, okay. Next stage then is to presumably put a piston or two in, isn't it? Oh yeah, so we'll do we'll do the other one again. And okay. then we'll put both pistons in at the same time. Okay, alright. We'll right. put these in the freezer for a little bit now. Again to cool them down. So they slide in. Slide in. Yep. So all looking good. So this one's next for the same treatment. And Harry's just visiting the freezer for the dust seal for this one. And here it is. Nearly in. Not quite. Takes a bit of a fiddle. I've got to be tight, obviously, because they keep the brake fluid in the system. So that's why they've got to be a tight interference fit. Cool. Yeah? Thanks. Hey. Pop it back out. Let's pop it back out. Look. And here you can see the piston um, ready to go in to the uh, uh, caliper itself. Um, nice shiny new ones. And uh, you would have seen Harry earlier do this, no doubt. And uh, it's uh, always looking brand new, actually, if you look at the completed unit. So chuffed to bits about that. 
and finally before we put them all back together we ran into a bit of a problem getting that dust seal back on here so um, thankfully Harry the other night managed to get hold of a certain automotive supplier's details and in here, here I'm assured is another kit involving you can just about see them through there some more dust seals so we'll put those on later so on. there we are that's the end of a long day's work and um, as you can see very industrious in the on the kitchen table and here we have Harry's finished items both calipers back together all dust seals back in place and um, all looking tickety-boo even with bleed nipples added as well so uh, brand new ready to go back on the car at the weekend uh, with some new brake pads with lots of meat on them look at that tons and tons of braking meat and we're all set to go so well done Harry top work all right guys so um thanks for watching hope you found that uh, interesting this afternoon just a little bit of a midweek update as I said um, these brake calipers are pretty universal so some of these techniques I'm sure will be useful for other types of vehicle as well at the end of the day it's all about engineering and um, really for the sake of a bit of scrubbing up um, some wire brush and uh, some emery paper and some careful time spent with a repair kit it's quite easy to get these um, calipers refurbished um, against a back cloth of buying um, new ones which would be anywhere up to £100 per side no doubt so well worthwhile doing it stuff you can do at home just as long as you do it methodically and make sure you take it uh, take it steady so um, inevitably one or two problems along the way you've seen that uh, we've got the new Rimmers uh, brothers um, post through so uh, gladly we can put the new dust cover in and that'll be fine so there you go good stuff guys and um, don't forget if you haven't done already uh, down here somewhere i have an Ari the Stag badge of honour uh, these are complimentary free on us so don't forget to uh, order one of those and we'll send you those uh, that free of charge um, all you do is go on to our website arrythestag.com and uh, check on the badge of honor page and you can see all the details there. it's really simple just send it through we get it this end and we'll dispatch them out to you in due course and we're getting these worldwide now people are putting them on their um, stags all over the place doesn't have to be a stag by the way could be another classic car as well so that's the badge of honor um, we've also recently acquired some um, Ari the stag key fobs so uh, really proud about these these are really nice leather uh, with metal uh, uh, badges on as well uh, Ari the Stag um, can uh, impress all your friends those are chargeable 7.95 plus postage and packing uh, but uh, let us know again through uh, the uh, channel or uh, go to the triumph stag 73 at gmail.com and uh, we'll happily send you one as well good stuff guys um, that's it for today hope you're having a great week wherever you are if it is a bit wet uh, my sympathies um, Ali the Nag is away skiing this weekend or this week rather so she'll be back at the weekend so uh, pick up uh, pick up there meanwhile it's a bit of a boy's paradise here we've got loads of stuff going on as you saw from the kitchen table covered in lovely uh, brake fluid brake pads and brake calipers so it wouldn't go down at all well if uh, HRH Lady Throop uh, was here uh, anyhow good stuff have a great week everyone don't forget to like share and subscribe and keep the comments coming and we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon all the best guys cheers for now bye